Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Bienvenido a mi canal. I'm excited because I want to teach you guys how to do the everyday makeup. Super simple, super easy. So if you guys like this look and you guys want to see it, please keep on watching and stay tuned. I already did my eyebrows off camera. We can start the tutorial. So to use primer. I need all the hydration in the world right now. The best thing for my face. I love this thing. Like it soaks in all the products. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna put this. And primer for the beginners, if you guys are beginners trying to watch how to do makeup, primer is amazing for your face because it will make your foundation and your makeup last long throughout the day okay so when you have your primer already in your face we will start with the fun part I have two foundations that I use um, these are actually my favorite right now and it's really affordable for you guys if you guys want to try it it's the wet and wild photo focus foundation um, is I got the dewy I got the dewy these two pairs for my face wow airbrush finish desert beige and this one is in caramel medium deep so I like to put these two together because I'm the type of person that I don't I don't I hate putting foundation on my neck don't like it because I, I don't like hugging people and then having foundation in their shirt I don't like having other people have my foundation it's embarrassing so what I do is I try always to get two foundations and always try to pair the two to match perfectly to my skin tone using a sponge. So you guys can use a sponge or a regular brush if I got one. The sponge or you can use a regular foundation brush. Do I like to use a mist and I like to keep the sponge wet. I don't like dry sponges because I feel like it doesn't really blend right. So if you guys have some mist, spray your sponges and it's going to do amazing job. On my face. I don't put too much because I don't really need it. I don't need the full coverage. So, and this is an everyday makeup. So we're trying to kind of keep it natural. But I always say that and then I just go ham on my makeup. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just dabbing on my face. Okay, so now the foundation is a blend. So my next thing that I love to do is concealer. I love to conceal my eyes, underneath my eyes. Now I will use the Maybelline Eraser Concealer. So this, I'm going to highlight my face. So twist it. I like to do like a triangle shape on my face. And then I like to do it on my nose to highlight my nose. I like to do it here. And I like to do it here. Highlight my forehead. I like to let that sit for a little bit just so I can have more coverage. Now I'm using the L'Oreal Paris. This is a foundation stick that I use for contouring. So I usually place it right here. Now place this right here. And I use this little guy and I place it on my nose.
underneath my mouth. So like right down here. This will give me juicy lips. <laughs> and I also like doing them on top. I already don't have to do it on top because I already have a bigger lip on top. But I like that juicy lips. So now we got all that ready. Now we're going to blend the concealer. So we'll just blend. Blending is key in makeup with everything. So if you blend good, everything will come out great. I'm also blending mine. All right, so that's blended. Now I like to use a smaller sponge and start blending. So you do the same on this side. And I'm your sponge is good to get dry a little bit. You do it again. bringing my cheeks higher that's what we're looking for now I'm gonna add a little bit here on my temple a little bit up here on my forehead because I'm trying to have a smaller forehead <laughs> so we'll just blend and you see how I'm just blending upwards that's what you gotta do just blend We're trying to look younger here, not older. <laughs> and now I'm going to blend my nose. Okay. Now I just blend. This is my everyday makeup. Like I legit do this every day when I go out. You're all blend in. We're going to prep the concealer and your bronzer. I'm gonna use a brush and use a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna let that sip a little bit. I don't wanna bake too much. I'm just gonna let it sip to I use this for MAC. This is really cold. But anyways. So remember I said go upwards. Because we don't wanna drag it down. We don't want it to look muddy. So over your creamer Just like that. and then I'll use the same setting powder and just set underneath here. Carve that line. Now I'm going to use a brush and just sweep this because I don't want to bake. Yeah, now we're all blended out. Now we have to do um, blush. So I'm using NARS 
deep throat. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. This is a soft natural glow. Um, I'm not using nothing too pinky and too glittery, so this is perfect for everyday makeup. Place it on the apples of your cheeks, just like so. Alrighty. Now, I like to prime my eyes with a concealer. You guys can prime your eyes with a primer, eye primer, but you guys can do what you guys love best. I love to use concealer. So the same concealer that I use on my under eyes, I like to use it on top. So I'm going to use the Rimmel London concealer and just put that, place it all in your eyelids. Just place it. And then I like to go with it's but I'm telling you sponges is going to be your best friend like if you have a sponge you can use sponges almost on anything in your face and this concealer all over your eyelids because we're trying to cover all those dark circles also because you do tend to have like discoloration on your eyelids so this will legit make your eyelids the same color that's why I like to use also concealer because I mean if it conceals your dark circles underneath why not conceal your eyelids right <laughs> so I'm gonna use the iconic London palette. I love this. So like you can use this and go ham on your eyes but we're trying to keep it simple because it's an everyday makeup and I'm not trying to look glam all the time. You know what I mean? I just want to look like I'm put together that I try a little bit but I didn't try too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a fluffy blush brush and I'm just gonna use marshmallow I'm gonna set my eyelids before I put color in all over my eyelids just set it okay so I set that in with marshmallow so now I'm going to use, let's use taupe. That's this brown color right here. And I'm going to place it on the outer of my eyes. And I'm just going to that. Cause I'm trying to get a little bit of the color so I'm not blending yet, I'm just dabbing it. And I'll do this side. You get more of the color. Because I feel like if you blend it as soon as you put the color in your eyes and you just blend it, you're kind of taking half the product away from your eyes. So what I tend to do is I like to dab the color so you can have an opaque color on your eyelids. And then I tend, after you get that color that you are looking for, then I tend to blend like windshield wipers or circular motion. But I tend to blend the color afterwards. Now I'm going to use in the nude. That's like a peachy color works great on my complexion but you guys can use whatever you want and I'm just gonna set it on my eyelids just set it like that. this eye makeup is super easy guys like you can do this super quick super easy and it looks like you are put together and you did not try 
too much. It looked like you tried, but you didn't try too much. So. And I'm only using two colors. So. That's how the eye look. Looks great. So I like to blend it a little bit more. If you want to go a little darker, you can use the same taupe brown color and just blend it a little bit more. Do the same thing on the other side. And guys, if you know how to blend, blending is the key for everything. Blending is the key. Use the same brown, or we could go a little darker, deep sole, and just put that right underneath your eyes. Gives like a smoky effect. My favorite part of my eyes is I love to do a wing liner. Like, I love this. Like, this is my go-to look all the time. So, I have this eyeliner pencil, and this is from Tarte. So, I like to go and start right here. I like to do my... I wanna have my guide already, so I start from there, right? And then I drag it down. It brings out my eyes. It make it look like super Egyptian. Like the almond eyes, I love that. All right, so I love having these things. These things are amazing. So what I do is I use a Q-tip. And if I messed up, I use water. And just clean it up. Okay, so my eyeliner is done. So now I'm going to use my mascara. You guys can use your favorite mascara. You guys can use whatever mascara you like. I love this mascara because this is Intense Thickness Mascara with castor oil. This will help my lashes to grow and be fuller. So I love always conditioning my lashes. And I like to do my under lashes too. I like that dolly effect. So that is that. I'm going to highlight my face. So I'm going to use Too Faced. I'm gonna use this little baby right here. So I'm going to highlight right here. I'm going to highlight here. I'm going to highlight. I love highlighting my nose. I love my button nose. I love that. And I'm going to highlight right here on my forehead where I contour. Now I'm going to do a natural lip with a brown lip pencil. So you guys can line your lip with any brown pencil you have. I'm going to use my Revlon lipstick. This is in 220 Pink Chic. Beautiful color. I'm just gonna 
soften it up. I don't know how to put too much pink. So I'm going to use my setting spray. And I'm just going to set my face. I love to set my face. I love the feeling of the spray, the mist in your face. So this is the final look. All super natural, everyday makeup. Super easy and fun. This is my go-to eye look. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.